Oh, good deal. You made it just in time. Hi, I'm John Graviscus. It's good to have you working around the boat with us. You know, one of the problems with owning an older style outboard powered vessel is a lot of them have a low cutout transom notched into them. Now, the problem with that is whenever you get into a following sea or you have a couple of big guys fishing off the stern of the boat or when you're backing down on a fish, water has a tendency to crest over this lip and fill into the cockpit. Well, that can be dangerous and it can be a little unnerving having nothing in between you and a big wide open body of water. Now the reason that the manufacturer notched this transom out was to accommodate the outboards. Come on over here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now originally this boat was set up with a pair of Evinrude 100s that have a 20 inch shaft motor on it. Now if you went with a single outboard you'd come right off the center of the boat you'd go with a 25 inch shaft motor and now for years that's all that's been available so you really didn't have a choice about having this notched in transom but for safety uh, recently a company has come out with a kit that will actually allow you to close in your transom while at the same time add an engine bracket to the boat increasing the vessel's performance and we're going to take you through the entire conversion process today so while I'm gathering up my tools let's take our first time out we'll be right back ShipShape TV America's favorite boat improvement show